Hello and thank you for coming to the Muck Waters Effect. I'm your host Matt. Today I'm looking at OAN, but first I need you to hit like and subscribe. Help this channel grow. Let's take a look at this news article. Wisconsin to conduct forensic audit of election. There's a video here. We'll go ahead and watch it. Republican state lawmakers in Wisconsin are promising a forensic audit of the 2020 elections. When America's Christina Bob has more from Washington. Wisconsin State Representative Janelle Branchen, you came out with a big statement on election integrity. What are your efforts in Wisconsin? Well, I think this, the citizens of Wisconsin really know that, want to know the truth. The 2020 election, they deserve to know exactly what happened in Wisconsin. And you know what, Let, let's just get to it. Let's have the conversation about what the, what the ballots and what the machines give us that additional integrity to the process at this point. People, people are unsure. And um, so what I asked for yesterday was that opportunity to have a cyber forensic audit to make sure that Wisconsinites feel comfortable knowing that their election was fair and transparent. And what are you hearing from them that they want to see? Because we know Speaker Voss has already looked into some things. We haven't seen a lot of transparency on what that is. So what are you hearing from your constituents that they want to see that cause you to you know, go and dig a little deeper onto what happened during the election? For years, people in Wisconsin have been able to vote with an illegal driver's license, a driver's license that wasn't real. And there have been thousands of folks that have had that privilege. And what the worst part is, 30 days later, they just drop off our voter rolls. That is so unfair to the citizens of Wisconsin who have put in place a voter ID to make sure we know who you are. I mean, that's a reasonable request. In all of these years, it has been in a situation where, honestly, we have had people vote that probably should have voted in the state of Wisconsin. So I'm asking for that cyber forensic audit to go through the ballots and the machines and make sure that people can rebuild trust in our elections. They, they deserve that. And your press release had some alarming information, some of which you just shared, but it said that there were tens of thousands of voters that voted with incorrect information that either their driver's license didn't match their birth date, which didn't match their address, really specific information that should have matched. And if it didn't, they shouldn't have been allowed to vote. Can you tell us how many, do you know how many of those there were, considering that the margin of victory in Wisconsin was only about 20,000 votes? You know, those numbers are still being determined, but it has gone on at least since 2015. Um, this came from guidance from WAC to allow people to vote, even though their driver's license didn't have a match, either with a have a check, help America vote check, or a DMV check. So, I mean, it's stunning that Wisconsinites for so long have had this in place, and really it hasn't been noticed, and it's so unfair. So, over the years, um, a full fail, meaning all three of those items didn't match, the driver's license, the name, and the birth date, and then there's partial fail numbers, meaning one or two of those items didn't match, are in the thousands. Wow. And so what comes next? You've announced that you want to do a forensic investigation and look into some of these irregularities. Where does it go from here? I think from here, we got to have that consensus to say, what exactly are we looking at? certain counties, um, what that will all entail as far as the ballots themselves, and then the machines, how, how building the mousetrap. We have experience in Arizona, what's been done. We have some experience in other states, Georgia, uh, Michigan. Uh, uh, there, listen, this is not one state only. We are all looking to make sure that we bring integrity back to our process. And uh, so, yeah, there, there's some conversations we need to have uh, throughout the state. Ma'am, thank you so much for your time and for your update. My pleasure. Thank you. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. And I know some of you guys have been really negative about these audits, about how nothing's been done, no one's been arrested, uh, nothing's changed. And especially when it comes to Arizona audit, no information has really come out to really change anything yet. I understand your impatience on this, but this is a perfect example of what's going on in uh, Wisconsin. We are winning. And that preliminary report from Arizona gave us a lot of information, a lot of detail of what exactly was going on. But uh, right now, they're still investigating, and it looks like to me they're going to go further in Georgia with other audits and other counties to try to uh, get more information about what happened. And then when it comes to uh, PA and Wisconsin, Michigan, Nevada, so on and so forth, 
those states are still working on these audits. Then you got four other states that you never thought there would be an audit there, like Texas, Oklahoma, Florida, and Maryland. And it looks like there's a good chance there's going to be audits there as well. So, guys, the freight train is moving. We are winning. But that's my opinion. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Helps the channel grow. Peace.